Last week, Dr. Eric Mabuse and his followers blasted their way into Britt Reed's house, claiming to be the crew from a disabled spacecraft. Kidnapped Miss Case and overcame Britt Reed and Cato. Learning that Dr. Mabuse was a former atomic scientist and that he planned to hijack an H-bomb missile warhead. The Green Hornet and Cato followed the scanning signal activated by Miss Case, rescued her and, after assuring her safety, resumed pursuit of Mabuse. Cato, we're dealing with a man of infinite brilliance and infinite madness. He publicly urged the use of nuclear weapons against aggressor nations. He may have some insane scheme to drop an H-bomb on a foreign country. If he does and they retaliate, our entire country may be at stake. But Dr. Mabuse had already hijacked the Air Force convoy and armed the H-bomb warhead. Before you do anything foolish, Major, I must warn you, I have armed the warhead. Who the devil are you? If you make any move to defend yourselves, I shall blow us all to kingdom come. If I press this button, the device on the side of your truck will detonate the warhead. At this range, every man, woman, and child in the city will be instantly annihilated. You have a technical officer with you. Let him examine it. Look, Captain. Don't touch. Could work. Not only could work, Captain, but I assure you, it does. If you think you can get away with this, you're crazy. Vama! Another challenge for the Green Hornet. His aide, Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner-publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. The Green Hornet is brought to you by... Luck was with us when they got away. With Casey's scanner signal in that fellow's pocket, let's hope he's leading us right to Mabuse. The signal is stationary now. He stopped. It's too bad Casey didn't find out for sure where that truck was located. Wait a minute. Something on a police van? I think it's clear. This is Major Howard Jackson, U.S. Air Force. The convoy under my command was taken over and the cargo confiscated. Our position is... It has come to my attention that despite our understanding, police cars have begun to cross into this area. I warn you, any attempt to interfere with me will imperil your entire city. We should make contact with the truck soon. Rig for silent running, Cato. From what Casey told us, Mabuse has that truck outfitted with ultra-sensitive detection equipment.
There it is, Vama, my pet. <laughs> Enough power to destroy any city in the world. It's been a long time coming, though, hasn't it? The detonator has been removed from the Air Force truck, Dr. Marbus. Fine. I've rigged the bomb for remote control, so we're all set. The truck has been well hidden off the road. It'll never be seen. Well, I'm glad to hear you can do something correctly, Shugo. And I hope your friend the Green Hornet doesn't come too close, for his own good. Tell him when to get ready to leave. Yes, sir. You'll ride with us. That was our plane that landed on schedule. Which is more than you can say for the Air Force. And being early has thrown off our timetable. I think we should stay here a little while longer. There's no sense unnecessarily exposing ourselves. Turn on the radar and the monitoring equipment. We'll see if the area is clear of police. That's odd. We're picking up a strong audio signal, but there's nothing on the radar. It's coming from in here. What did you have the equipment on last? Five or six minutes ago, just before the plane called in. Were you alone? I told you when Vama came in. Vama, you wouldn't try anything underhanded, would you? What about you, Shugo? Oh, you gotta be kidding, Doc. Why would I do a thing like that? Yes. Why, indeed? A miniature transmitter. And you didn't have it with you before, did you? And your good friend, the Green Hornet, has experience in such matters, doesn't he? Oh, no, you got to believe me, Doc. I don't know how that got in here. Do you believe him, Vama? Vama has lost faith in you. And that could prove fatal. We've lost a signal. Stay on the frequency. I've turned the volume all the way up. We may have lost the signal on this side of the mountain. Radar shows a car heading in this direction at top speed. Police? I don't think so. It's running silently. There's only one car I know of that does that. I'll make sure the police stay out of the area. Attention all police units. Stay at least five miles distance from the intersection of Highway 207W, or I'll explode the warhead. Do you think he really might set off the bomb? He might, by mistake or even intentionally. There's no telling what he'll do. We've lost valuable time, Cato. He knows we're on his trail. His man must have told him. All the more reason to proceed with caution. Why did you activate the hornet signal? You're leading him right to us. Precisely, Martin. You must be mad. Don't ever say that to me. This has got to be it. Turn it off. We should be right on top of them. They must have pulled the truck off the road. Turn off there. We have to move carefully, Cato. up to the junction, then you go on ahead, Shugo. Is that clear? Shugo, I asked, is that clear? Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Then along here. A mirror. And a loudspeaker. Don't turn around, Green Hornet. Just throw down your weapons. Your weapons, please. It's all done with mirrors, isn't it, Hornet? I've been an ardent admirer of yours for quite some time. We should get along well, then. And this can only be Cato. 
You've both wandered far afield, haven't you? When there's action, I like to be in on it. You thought if I dropped the ball, perhaps you'd pick it up? Something like that? If anyone drops this ball, dear friend, they'll pick us all up. In little pieces. You'll never pull this off, Mabuse. Correction. I already have. And not only do I have the warhead, but I also have the Green Hornet. What about the police? Your concern for my well-being is most touching. In fact, to show my deep appreciation, I think I will allow you to act as my stand-in. What do you think the police will conclude when they discover Shugo in the car with you? Exactly, my friends. Their only conclusion can be that the Green Hornet masterminded the entire operation. What about the warhead? Gone. Spirited away by double-crossing underlings. A neat solution to my problem, wouldn't you say? The Hornet sting is aimed directly at the car. I've set the mechanism so that after it's activated, the slightest movement inside the car or on the road will trigger it. The explosives underneath the car will take care of the rest. Please, let me go. After you, gentlemen. Oh, yes. I know the police are staying a few miles back. And as soon as we pull out, they'll move forward a little. But even if you remain as still as statues, they'll be passing through here in a matter of minutes. And the vibration caused by their car will be more than enough. Stay calm. There's no way out. Listen. Kato. Yeah? I'm going to fire the rear rockets. The reaction may jolt the car forward far enough to clear the explosion. No. There should be a split second between the time that I fire the rockets and the stingray activates the explosives. In that instant, the car should move away. What if it doesn't move away fast enough? It's the only chance that we've got. When that police car gets in the area, its vibrations are going to set off the explosives. How close is your hand to the rocket switch? About three or four inches. He said any movement would set that thing off. We're just going to have to risk it. I'm getting out of here. Don't be a fool. ropes off and get out of here. There's a helicopter directly overhead. Helicopter's given our position away. Police cars are altering course. The 
staying well back, though. They wouldn't dare stop us. We should have heard from the plane by now. Radio them. Find out if there's anything wrong. Cato, is that old section of the post road still open? I think so. I'm going to take a gamble on catching a boose. There's an abandoned airstrip near the old post road. It's a good possibility that's where they're heading. If they are, we'll be waiting for them. How about your cars? We're tracking them, but we're holding back according to plan. We've got a fix in their position right now. We've got a copter right over them. Now, I figure they're heading for an abandoned airstrip. I say we've got to trap these fellows while they're on the ground. If they get that thing in the air, we're really in trouble. What do you think, Colonel? He's right. Do your people have information on every airstrip, old, new, and abandoned? We do. Can you close off every air carter to every possible landing spot, including that one? Right now. Air Force jets buzzed them as they were about to sit down. They can't land. They have to. They're not going to land. Everything was arranged. My plan went off magnificently. They must land. It's too late, Doctor. They've cut off transmission with us. Who but I? could have conceived of nuclear blackmail. All the power a man could ever dream of. Tell the drivers to pull over and stop. Emma. the warhead. Leave it. Put it in the brush over there. They can't have power. I'll have revenge. If they want the warhead that badly, I'm going to give it to them in a million pieces. You're going to blow it up right here? Don't be ridiculous, Martin. Not now. Not till we're well out of range. Either way, they've lost the game. When I detonate the warhead, the entire city will be leveled. Doctor, you can't do it. This isn't what we planned. It was only to be used as a threat. I swore vengeance would be mine. And now, it will be. Doctor, I beg you, don't do it. Don't make me a part of it. All right, then. You'll stay. Oh, please, uh, I'll go with you. Oh, no. You're staying. We're leaving. Doctor. Please. that jet cover, he'll never try for a rendezvous at that airstrip. We'll have to double back. It's one of Abus's men. Please don't be at me. Where's Mabuse? There's no time for Listen to me. You're going to tell me where Mabuse is and the warhead. He's gone, and if we don't get out of here right away, we'll be blown sky high. They will high. be blown sky high. Where is he? The warhead's back there in the brush, but he's taken off with the detonator. Can he set it off by remote control? Yes. Can you disarm the bomb? No, and he's going to wait till he gets far enough away from here and then blow it. Exactly what does he have to do to detonate it? He, he activates the button and then presses it. Get in. Take off, Kato. Not yet. But even at maximum speed, that van can't possibly get away from us. So we catch up with it. And we have the moment we need. 
Rig for silent running. He must have picked us up with his radar. He may not have it running. He must have it running. No, I know him. He's got the detonator. He doesn't care about being followed. Cato. Produce those lightning bolts. What is it? It looks like a battery, isn't it? It is. It's a nickel cadmium power cell. The boys in the lab rate its output at 25,000 volts. Now, you see, these wires ran from a compartment in her belt up to her insulated gloves. And by raising her arm, she activated it. Huh. What about the saucer everyone claimed to have seen? Well, the Air Force checked that out as a large weather balloon. Mabuse painted it with iridescent paint. And then he reflected some high-intensity strobe light off a large mirror onto the balloon. But how do they fake the crash? That was just uh, gasoline soaked over uh, junk metal. They hauled the balloon down on the ground, exploded it, and then set fire to the scrap metal. Of course, at night, it looked like the real thing. Huh. It's getting late, Mr. Reed. Oh, yes. Yeah. You uh, going somewhere? Terrace and Claire's birthday. We're going to the opera. Hey, uh, why don't you take this with you? You'll be a sensation. <laughs> no thanks. I could never do justice to uh, Bama. <laughs> <laughs> 